Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So you've read the title and it says, yes, it's finally the time. And you're wondering, what's finally the time? What's happening? So I'm going to explain everything. As you can see there in the background, something has changed, guys. Lights have changed the color. They were always red. Now they're pink. So it's the it's finally the time for us to change the light color. That's what happened now, but in all seriousness today, we're gonna do 99 ways because usually about once a month Maybe even more frequently than that. Maybe every two weeks or something we get this Blackboard PD event and then I do 99 waves So today's finally the time once again for us to do those 99 waves and guess what? We are gonna also open up a couple of purple cards. I have no idea how many purple cards will open up It depends everything depends on how many blue crates I'll get today on how many blue cards we'll get I already got here 12 blue so we will see we're gonna be opening up lots of and lots of awesome crates but before we do all of that we have a few raids to do and i already have one raid ready outside i have no idea what kind of base is that i've just done all the tasks whatever so let's get a few hatchets and yeah we've also gotten another update you probably already know that we've gotten the rottweiler and we've also gotten this kind of global inventory so as you can see in my backpack here i don't have any stones i don't have any wood and yet i still can craft these basic hatches because my game can see what kind of resources i have in my base here so that is awesome that is amazing so let's craft here a few hatchets and uh, we can go for the first raid of the day so buckle up buckaroos and let's roll i'm glad to see all of you here and to, for those who do not know this is a live stream so welcome welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream glad to see all of you here and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pinned comments down below there you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker like us doing raids for example or a bunch of other things so right now i'm gonna go and quickly eat something i should have been eating just basic carrots i should be saving like cooked food for later also let's not forget a glock also i've done something off camera you won't believe what i have done off camera ladies and gentlemen we're like say what happened i have sorted out my base just a tiny little bit it took like maybe five to ten minutes so i kind of moved all of the meh guns into this rack over here so we have here these pythons we have winchesters but every time i say the that name i I kind of want to throw up, but yeah, I moved here my Winchesters plus like those harpoons and other stuff, zip guns. Here I have like more normal weapons and uh, yeah, I have a dedicated rack now just for these flare guns. Then I have this rack where I also have some more flare guns. Here I have just mini guns and uh, here I have armor piercing weapons and some other whatever goob there. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have sorted out the base just a tiny little bit. Now we need one more Glock and we can go for that right outside. Buckaroos, are you ready? And also, I have to play on just high settings instead of ultra settings because after, like, whatever update, the game lags even more now. It lags even on... It, it's way more smooth than minimal, right? On minimal graphics. I don't know if you can see the difference, right? But if you maybe watch on... If you're watching on 60 frames per second, maybe you can see the difference. But yeah, now the game runs at 60 FPS here. At the base, it's fine. But if I turn on, let's say, ultra the FPS drops to like 45 or something, 43, and it's it's kind of jumping. Uh, playing on high, I get like here 50 FPS or something, so it's a bit better. I kind of don't want to play in minimal, so it's kind of goop. It's kind of goop. It is what it is. In any case, let's hop on the chopper and let's get battle. I Also, I've forgotten a, a C4. Let's also get a C4 before we go. And we can start rolling, ladies and gentlemen. We can start rolling. Agreed, after the update, it also started to lag. Yeah, I believe, like, I have seen and I've heard from some other people that they started lagging as well. So I guess I'm not the only one. Maybe, hopefully, they'll fix it. I have no idea what's going on. It has never been like that. I've never had an issue with it. But now it's working. It's, it's finally time for what? For pink lights. For the pink lights. All jokes aside, it's finally the time to do 99 waves, but it's finally the time for pink lights, basically. Uh, player 5063, for those who do not know how to do research, let me explain that for the millionth time. You go on YouTube, type whatever base you want to raid, like for example, in my case, LDOE raid, player 5063, and boom, and somebody has maybe uploaded a video. I see a bunch of videos here on YouTube uh, from people raiding this base, so yeah, I'm just gonna open up whatever random one. I'll see what I need to see, I'll check where to place my C4s, and that is it, then we can skedaddle. Right? Then we can just skedaddle, except this base seems kind of goop, I'm not gonna lie, no... Everywhere, look. We just get basic loot. 
Ladies and gentlemen, whatever, let's just go for the raid. That's it. I've done enough research. I literally researched nothing. That base is huge. You can come into that base from a bunch of different sides and... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste more time on research. Is this real Sayak? Of course it is real Sayak. Do you remember me? Of course I remember everybody. Of course. Of course I remember everybody. Have you gotten the Rottweiler dog? No, I haven't gotten the Rottweiler yet. And I don't think I'm ever getting it. Like, to be honest, I don't think I'll ever get it. And I don't really care about it. I don't know where to place the C4. I'm just placing it here on this wall. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I have no idea. And boom, we've gotten here two chests. And that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. So let's open up this thing. And let's see what kind of goods we can get here. Perhaps 10 grenade launchers. Perhaps a stack of steel. Or perhaps a stack of grass. Probably the latter. We'll probably get a stack of grass. Um, I've gotten a few cards. Bloody lovely, except we don't need any of those cards. Okay, not a horrible raid. It looked, I mean, it is still bad for now, but at least we've gotten some guns, right? A minigun, a BSS, some steel. I'm also gonna bring these iron plates back to the base because why not? What else am I going to do with them? Uh, I might also bring some nails. And let's open up one more chest over here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Let's do it. And here we've gotten some planks. Whatever, I'll bring those planks back to the base. And perhaps I'll place one more C4 somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, you deserve entertainment. And entertainment is me wasting C4s, right? So let's plop a C4 somewhere over here. And let's see if we can get anything else. Anything better, anything worse. Perhaps a few more chests. Nothing! That's it, I'm not wasting more C4s, that was not entertainment. But sorry, I was entertained. Were you? I just wasted that C4, whatever, I'm skedaddling, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day's been ruined. The only thing that saves my day today is uh, the fact that I, got, that I got these pink lights now instead of red lights, and that's it. So smash like for these pink lights. Absolutely. Demolish that like button. Just destroy it. Sadly, I don't have anything to, to show you how to destroy it. If I, had, if I had a piece of paper, I would, like, rip it apart and show you how to destroy that like button. I don't have it here. I got nothing. Just destroy it! At least you got the guns. Yeah, at least we got two guns. You didn't research more, Sayak. I said, guys, I'm not gonna spend here 10 minutes researching a base. It's That's not what we do here. It's a live stream. I'm not gonna spend here an hour researching a base, seeing where to go, what chest to open up, and whatever. We don't do that here. Can I put back on Ultra? Does it lag here? It even lags in the forest. We get 50 FPS. Whoa. Whoa. What happened to the game? Developers. Fix it. It's unplayable. There we go. Now we have 60 FPS here. So yeah, something happened. Something happened with the game. It has never been like that. It's like maybe it's time for you to get a new computer. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Rest up is underrated. Is it? Plus the game lags more and more. Like we've gotten some of those uh, like maintenance break. Wait, maybe not maintenance breaks. Well, we've gotten something, right? Uh, a while ago. We have gotten some sort of uh, updates and developers said that, hey, maybe we've, we've added nothing new, but we worked on like back end to reduce lag and bugs and whatever. And the game has now more lags than ever, actually. I don't think last and earth survival has ever performed this bad as it performs now after so many like whatever updates that they said where they improved the game and backhand and whatever unbelievable that's all i have to say absolutely unbelievable my game runs in 25 fps in the lab i believe i believe experiencing fps drops like fix this it's unplayable yeah i mean fix this it's unplayable it is unplayable. It is actually goop. It is actually goop. How am I supposed to play like this? Hmm? How am I supposed to play like that? Let's get the red tickets. A Glock. Uh, something in the duffel bag. Perhaps a million dollars. Nope. Just a two first aid kits. Well, better than zero. Uh, nothing else, a zip gun! It's like, bring it! Okay, I'll bring that zip gun back to the base. I'll bring that zip gun back to the base. 
Will they add the new skill for the Skull Crusher? Have they added a new skill for the Skull Crusher? Maybe, perhaps, one day. I have no idea. Um, whatever, let's bring all of that stuff back to the base. And I'd love to go and clear one more transport hub today, but we have cleared it yesterday, so there's no way I'll be able to clear it today. What? We're gonna clear, though, today. For those that have just joined, we're gonna clear 99 waves inside of the police department because we have this police department event. Uh, yeah, the police department does not reset, so you can die there multiple times, and you can still come back there and do those waves, so that's why we're gonna do 99 waves, and I think it's pretty fun. We're gonna absolutely demolish those waves, just as you demolish that like button, I assume. Have you done the big hunt event? The big hunt event is almost like a scam. It's kind of bad. It's one of the worst events in the game, in my opinion. It is a horrible event. To be completely honest with you, that's why I'm not doing it. Whatever, let's get ready for another raid. Let's buckle up. Maybe I should just remove all the shadows. Wait, look at this, guys. This way the game looks better, no? There are no shadows, but it's better. Guys, let's just play without the shadows. Does the game looks better? And APYY, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being here. Am I late? Why did I miss? No, we've just started the live stream about a few minutes ago. So welcome to the stream. We've just done a raid. So if you haven't seen the raid, you might have missed a raid. But other than that, we have just started. I think the game actually looks better without the shadows here right now than those pixelated shadows. And it runs a bit better. It is a little bit weird, though. The game looks a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Look at this! There's nothing here. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. 99% of players ignore that big hunt event, I believe. I mean, why wouldn't they ignore that event? It is garbage. It is like a pretty bad event. Whatever, let's give them this electronic circuit and let's see what kind of other tasks they'll want me to do. Go on, raiders. Take this thing and skedaddle. Let's share and let's skedaddle. Do you have your favorite area to loot? My favorite area to loot? I mean, currently I like the transport hub. It's kind of fun. I mean, obviously the best place in the game to loot is always Bunker Alpha, unless they change something and maybe in the future we'll get like Bunker Alpha too. But as of right now, Bunker Alpha is the best. I am the 1% who doesn't ignore it since I need factory parts. I mean, don't really kid yourself i don't think you really get a lot of factory parts from this event there's only a chance for you to get these factory parts it's not like you get guaranteed factory parts i mean good luck getting it i mean if you can get factory parts here if you've gotten them here then that's awesome but uh yeah it's still a bad event it's still a pretty goop event it's very futuristic realistic graphics says bjoy yes indeed we need to find two of these engines can we find at least one of those engines at the highway how about I go to the highway, ladies and gentlemen, we need to do this. Uh, three deals with the dealer. Perhaps let's call the dealer on the radio. And let's see what the dealer wants from me. Let's respond and let's make a deal. A steel plate and aluminum bar. Okay, two aluminum bars. Air filters. Uh, steel plate, aluminum bar. Two uh, air filter and... An electronic circuit. There we go. Let's bring him all of that stuff and let's make the worst deal of the year. And there we go. The game started lagging again. I can't believe it. Can't believe the way it lags. We could play on low, but actually low looks bad. <laughs> I don't know. I know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. When is the next episode of Day R? I don't think there will be more Day R. I'll be honest with you. I don't think there will be more Day R. I made three episodes on Day R. Every time I start, I start a new game, I try to like release at least a few episodes on it. But we are done kind of with day R. I mean, I think I checked out everything there is to check out. Um, 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 guns, right? I made some chests here. Now I can drop these things over here. The things go there. I sorted out the base so that it's faster to sort it out in the future. But actually, it's going to take us even more time. In any case... Let's drop that over here. Let's drop the 10 nails that we've gotten from that raid. And let's go. Let's make a deal with the dealer. Those items are for the Rottweiler dog. Eh. There's no way we'll get it. Sorry, like Undawn, play, says Seth Seth. Well, there might be more Undawn someday in the future. I'm actually thinking about doing a live stream on Undawn. We'll see. 
We will see. There might be more undone. A steel plate. How many steel plates do we need? One only. Only one steel plate. Okay, we'll get it. And we need an electronic circuit. And an air filter. Okay, it took us quite a while to get things. But we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got everything we needed to get. We got everything. And an electronic circuit. Wait, is that it? Did I really get everything? Only one air filter. Yeah, we have gotten one air filter. I just want to drop the rest of the steel plates over here. I think that is it. We have everything there is to get. Let's drop those things. Somebody mentioned that we might get a ride wilder there, but I doubt it. I absolutely doubt it. How can you access the highway? You need to progress through acts. I think you need to do act one or act two. I think it's midway through act two. I mean, recently I have... Haven't made a video on the highway yet. Maybe not. Maybe the video is not out yet. But there will be a video on free-to-play how we go to the highway and other stuff. Do you remember when you said in free-to-play video that you could ignore the Revenger in the farm? Well, no, you can't. It will start running fast biter and you will not be able to dodge a spit, says Alessandro Popa. When I said that you can ignore the Revenger, I said things that people told to me. The people told me you can ignore the Revenger if you don't encounter him. I'm not saying that you can ignore the Revenger like he walks past you. Uh, when I said ignore the Revenger, I meant you don't have to necessarily kill it. You can just walk past that Revenger, don't aggro him, and he's not going to chase you. I said that sentence not for people to, like, ignore the Revenger. I basically said it so that people wouldn't tell me in the comments, like, oh, sorry, you can actually ignore the Revenger. You don't have to kill it. So that was just a way for me to say that, hey, yes, I'm aware of the fact that you can't ignore the Revenger. So you probably misunderstood me. By ignore the Revenger doesn't mean that you let him attack you. Just don't let him see you. I mean, it was pretty obvious. But whatever. Let's go and let's deal with the dealer Joe. And APYY, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks for supporting the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I learned the high w uh, the hard way. I ignored it and it came back to me when I opened the blue box. Yeah, he will keep walking there. As I said, it's pretty tricky. I think even in that video, I said that it's pretty tricky and I'd suggest you to kill it. I, I even said that I can probably like find that video right now and like show you what I said there, but I'm almost like 99% sure that I said that, that be careful as it's pretty dangerous and it's just better to kill it as mistakes will be made and it's pretty tricky. So I told you to kill it. I said that you can probably ignore it, but I didn't say that you should ignore it. So in any case, Let's give him the things. Plip plop, plip plop, and let's get the puppy. What have we got in here? A shepherd puppy. Huh? So sometimes it's a shepherd puppy in a box, and sometimes that puppy is outside of the box. That's kind of weird. You can dodge me, just have to run around very long way, quick, looting the blue crate. So Sarek is right, says Fours. I didn't understand anything, but uh, thank you. I only I only saw the last part. The Sayak is right. And I agree with you. The Sayak is right. Happy Sayak is absolutely right. Mega trash deal. That was a pretty trash deal. I agree. It's fine. I will store the puppy in a safe place. Was that even a fair trade? I have no idea. I mean, if you need puppies and if you have uh, abundance of these resources, then maybe... There we go. That's where I'm going to store this blue box, ladies and gentlemen. Not the blue box, but the puppy here. In a secret... In a secret storage. Okay, so my character started stinking, so let's quickly take a quick shower. Uh, two bottles should suffice. Well, let's wash ourselves, ladies and gents. Have you played The Walking Dead? I have gotten that comment many times. That's it. I'm adding it to the list. The Walking Dead Telltale series. But I kind of wanted to replay that game for myself off camera. In any case, I'll add it to the to the notes here. Uh, the Walking Dead game. That is it. I'll, I've added it to the list. I've played that game already a couple of years ago. Maybe like eight, seven years ago or something. And maybe I'll play it again here on the channel. But every day, like probably every time I live stream, there will be at least like one, two, or maybe three people asking about The Walking Dead. About The Walking Dead. I assume, guys, you're asking about the Telltale series games, right? With Clementine. 
If that's what you're asking, then maybe I can give that. I wanted to play that game off camera. So I'm, I can't promise anything because I really wanted to replay that game off camera. But I'll perhaps make an episode on it. Who knows? <laughs> but that game is older than the world itself. But we'll see. If I'll maybe make an episode on it, okay? I don't promise anything. A smartphone, says BJ. Yes, guys, I have a smartphone. What can I say? All that YouTube money. And I got the smartphone, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's a very luxurious thing to have. Not everybody has a smartphone. It's not a basic smartphone, right? It's a Samsung A70. But Sayuk, it's like four years old. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a very luxurious phone, ladies and gentlemen. Camera's pretty goop on it, though. It, it's broken. My lens is cracked. It doesn't even have a lens, though. In any case, let's go to the um, to the highway and let's get one of those uh, whatever they're called engines. Let's buckle up. Green wall. Never heard of a more basic cell phone. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, back in the days, phones, price on the phones used to matter. Right now, you can get probably a decent phone for like 200 bucks. And uh, it's going to be fine. Like, I'm happy with the phone that I got. I don't need a new phone. I'll be using it until it breaks fully. And then I'll get some other goop, probably. Uh, let's get a Winchester. That's way too many guns. I definitely don't need to bring that much stuff with me. And yet, I am still over-preparing. I'm taking more things. More! More! More machetes. More katanas. More. Well, I got the Nokia 3000 for less than 30 bucks. How are you typing then here in the live chat? Hmm? It's like I'm using a computer. Alrighty. Um, I think I'm ready. I'm just gonna drop these glocks. I really want to save them for raids So I think it's better to just drop them here. Let's get this. Let's get that AK. We got some other goop. Let's go I'm ready The camera I can't see anything says mango uh, Try to zoom or change the quality in the top right corner or somewhere There's gonna be the cogwheel icon and change the quality, but be careful If it might eat up a lot of your data they say camera. What camera is working? I thought it's actually started. The camera is working, guys. And compliment the pink lights. I'll actually go control F and I'll type here light. Pink. Okay, pink is way better. Okay, I see some people actually mentioned pink. Uh, pink. Okay, so that's nice. Two people mentioned pink color. That's nice. So that is epic, ladies and gentlemen. Pink color is back. Will it stay at pink? Maybe. Maybe it'll stay at pink. And I came outside now. You might be it's like you're trolling. I, I literally don't remember why I came outside there. I need to open up the inventory to remember. And uh, we got the guns. Uh, oh, to the highway. We're going to the highway to find an engine. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, look at those pink lights. Guys, as if you haven't seen them. Do I really have to tell you everything? Why somebody keeps spamming green wall? That makes no sense. Well, goodbye, mate. Sayonara. See you later, alligator. Hello, Tsayuk. How's your day going? Day's going great, guys. So I had today a few ideas, you know? Uh, I wanted to do half a thousand push-ups today during the live stream. Oh my god, Tsayuk! Just do it! Just do it! I really wanted to do half a thousand push-ups, but maybe that'll be, like, an event that I'll do for later because I haven't been doing push-ups now for, like, over a year or something. I'm not in shape at all, so I wanted to do 99 waves in each wave. I wanted to do five push-ups. Uh, would that be possible? I have no idea. How long would that take? Maybe three hours, maybe four hours, because each wave would take a while to do. And I honestly have no idea if that, that would have been possible or not. Honestly, I have no idea if that would have been possible. I could do like 30 push-ups right now. But like, could I do 500 push-ups every, every police department wave? Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. So, yeah, that would be... That'd be awesome, but yeah, I don't have a second camera as well to show the push-ups. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be prepping. I'll be prepping for it. And DA, thanks for being a member for 12 months. Thanks for the support on the channel. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. 12 months. I would get less prison time for committing some crimes. <laughs> Stop it! What? Being subscribed, being a member in this channel, you just compared it to, to doing prison time. 
Stop it. Stop it. Welcome, my prisoners. My convicts. My cellmates. Welcome. Yeah, speaking of speaking of prison, we are gonna do 99 waves today. So there's that. A highway to nowhere. Exactly, that highway leads to absolutely nowhere. I mean, I just came here for whatever that place is called. Uh, whatever the thing is called, actually. The engine. Right. Talking about the prison, last or please make it a permanent spot on the map. Yeah, I have no idea why they removed that prison. It should have stayed in the game. Absolutely. It's like made the title just for goddamn pink lights as Nexus. How would you... How would have you named the title? I'm all ears, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys think this title is bad, how would you name the this live stream? How would you do it? Last on Earth part, uh, 1,000, probably 450 or something. That's it, we've gotten one engine. I did it. I did it. That highway leads to my local grocery store. Alrighty. It's a nice highway, I guess. We have gotten two of these. Guys, the game just lagged. I can't do anything! I have to restart the, the game. Whoa! Whoa, I can't believe it. Oh, my entire emulator just got stuck. Can't do anything. Whatever, unless I've clicked somewhere a wrong button or something. Whatever, let's try to reload it then. Let's try to reload everything. And while we are reloading it, smash the like button on the video. And uh, yeah, every time I show the like, I have to show it like this. Even though my finger goes like that. But every time I show it, somebody will be like, Oh my god, Tech, your finger's broken. What is wrong with your finger? So I, every time I show it, I try to like... I try to pretend that I'm normal. But it's not normal. And recently I've learned that one of my fingers bends more than the other one. Like on my left hand, as you can see, the, the thumb doesn't bend as far as the other one. And I've just learned that literally like maybe two weeks ago or something i saw a video on youtube a short from vsauce he talked about the hitchhiker's thumb or something and i just looked at both of my thumbs and i'm like wait my left thumb is less crooked than the other one so and i can't bend it more like this one doesn't bend more this one is like kind of more bendable so i i i don't understand how is that possible ladies and gentlemen i'm 26 years old and i've just learned something new about my body like about two weeks ago that is interesting but it do be like that. Whatever, let's go there. He's insecure about his thumb. Stop it, guys! Stop making fun of me! <laughs> Stop it, I am normal! I have a normal thumb. I have an absolutely normal thumb, okay? Stop it. Probably something with genetics. What do you mean something with genetics? I don't have genetics. You have genetics. Okay, it works now. I thought it's gonna be stuck again. You know, there's always, you know that one person that's like kind of dumb dumb and you tell him something, you tell him like a compliment and he's like, no, you're that. Like same thing me here. No guys, I don't have genetics. I don't have DNA. You have DNA. I don't have any genetics. Stop it. I mean, telling somebody that they have DNA and that they have genetics isn't a compliment, but you got the point what I'm trying to say here. And if you don't understand what I'm trying to say here, don't worry. You guys have thumbs? Yes. In any case... Let's probably loot the other side of the car and maybe let's skedaddle from the highway. I don't think there's anything else we can kind of do here. Wait, I have hair. Never mind. I do have genetics. Wait, genetics don't only mean that you have hair. But whatever, ladies and gentlemen. Ha ha ha! Look at those thumbs, says the A. What's wrong with my thumbs? Say it. Don't be afraid. Say it to my face. They're crooked. They're crooked. Uh, wait. Uh, what population has hitch hikers thumb? 
What percentage? Okay, so 24 to 36% of the US population has that hitchhiker's thumb. So basically a quarter. Basically a quarter of population, right? Let's assume an average quarter of population has that hitchhiker's thumb. So every fourth person here in the chat has this hitchhiker's thumb. And to be honest, hitchhiker's thumbs are more advanced. That's it. The, that's all I'm saying. We are the normal ones. If your thumb is straight like this, that. Seriously, bleh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have a normal thumb like that. Bleh. This is the thumb. This is the thumb. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get back to the base. And um, yeah, let's drop the resources and let's get ready for the second raid of the day. Sounds like a skill issue, says Bacon. It do be like that. It's okay, we accept you! And your crooked thumbs, says Gator. Okay, thanks for accepting me. Psych, we accept you. Even if you have broken thumbs. I don't have broken thumbs. And my crooked thumbs, not broken thumbs. Um, Where do I drop these things? Okay, let's drop it over here. Bam. And what other tasks do we need to do? Has that task even counted? Because we have gotten one of those engines. Is that enough? Do we need more? Yes, we have gotten one, so it did count. So yeah, the highway is pretty decent. And now we need to raise three doggos. Let's check them out. I have a hitchhiker thumb. I'm part of the family now. Yes, indeed. Part of the family, part of the cult. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I have a hitchhiker thumb. Yes, indeed. We have the hitchhiker's thumb. Oh, there's the sword button. By breed. What? I didn't even see you can sort... You can sort puppies now. That is interesting. To say the least. Okay. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Let's raise these puppies, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Let's try to breed them and then let's feed them, perhaps. Maybe let's give them some food. There we go. Let's do this and let's... Find one more pupper. One more pupper. Gooper. There we go. Do we need more of them? They're all the same, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why I named them Goopers is because I am a very sensitive creature, right? I get attached to those puppies a lot. As I said, I wake up at 4 a.m. just to feed them here. And if I name them, and whenever I release them, I'll be very sad and I'll start crying. So I name them all the same name. This way, I don't get emotionally attached. And I don't form any relationships with those puppies. There we go. There we go. That's the perfect explanation. Not because I hate them, but because I don't want to form any relationships with them. That is it. That is it. That is it. Name all of them Goopers. They're already named Goopers, all of them. That's it, we have just talked to the raiders and that's it, raiders have just skedaddled. Bruh! Can you imagine that? Raiders have already skedaddled. Um, my brain is working just a little bit. Perhaps not at full capacity, but it is working nonetheless. Okay, let's get that, let's get some hatchets and let's roll, ladies and gentlemen. Let's roll for the first raid of the day. And also, guys, I am... Waiting for your opinion, right? I'm thinking. I kind of made my own opinion. It's not like internet is going to sway my opinion, but I'm just going to say it. So I wanted to get dreadlocks because I don't like uh, doing my hair every morning. Like, it's kind of cool. I can ask my fiance to do me braids and uh, they kind of last for, I don't know, a week, two weeks. It depends. You can still wash your head with braids and everything, but then they kind of just fall apart and you have to redo it again. So I thought, you know what? You can just get dreadlocks. And like kind of put them, uh, do them like laid back style and whatever. But I'm kind of scared. I kind of already got the appointment. It'll probably cancel it. As I feel like it'll be a goop idea. That's it. I think that'll be a goop idea. So you might be like, so what do we have to discuss? There's nothing to discuss. 
there's really nothing to say here. I just wanted to say some random stuff. And that is it. We can go for the second raid of the day. They say do it. The point is they'll be like permanent. You can like untangle them, but they'll be probably permanent. So, and then you'll have to like retwist them or something from what I've heard like every few months. And uh, it doesn't really sound like less work. Go bold. Yeah, if I get braids and I don't like them, I'll probably just go bold. That'll be the thing. But yeah. You should go bold to not wash your hair. I mean, going bold is pretty cool. Like, you seriously don't have to do your hair at all. Like, it's, it's the easiest hairstyle. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's do a raid. LDOE raid killer. Actually, this raid might be good. Might be good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a poggers. This is a killer raid. We are doing... We are raiding a base named Killer, and it's a killer raid. I'm not even kidding. Not even joking, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do a little bit of research on this raid. This will be a huge raid. This will be a huge raid. A massive raid. I mean, it'll require probably two C4s or something. That is it. Where do we open up? What chests? Okay, so we get these chests and the chests over there. Okay, so I kind of see how to enter it. Probably, I have no idea. In any case, let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. Bam and bam. I'm ready. We have one C4. Let's get another C4. This will be a killer raid. Like, literally. Figuratively. Literally and whatever. Whateverably. Let's go. Can you leave me some guns, says the ghost? Perhaps. Perhaps. When you're gonna play Rust again? You probably meant again. That's it, literally. I don't know when. Perhaps in the future. It all depends. Can you please play Dying Light 2? Guys, I've already finished Dying Light 2 with DLCs. There might be more DLCs coming out. Maybe there is another DLC or something. But I've already finished Dying Light 2. And uh, the DLCs. Okay, so I have to make sure, sure of what I'm doing. And where I'm placing that C4. Okay, that's it. I gotta place it over here, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta place it here. Can you give it to me? Sure, come and take it. Feel free to get the guns. Um, I'll explode another wall over here. It's like, can you play Unturned Survival on Steam? Unturned... Is it like pixelated something, zombie shooter, whatever game? I might have heard of it. Perhaps. Perhaps. Have you ever played Rainbow Six? No. I have played Last and Earth Survival, though. That's what I have played. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sickest raid. You'll see in a while, probably. This raid is humongous. This raid is insane. First of all, we can get here three guns, right? Which is already amazing. But over here, we can get even more loot. More loot, ladies and gentlemen. You might feel like you have enough loot. No, you don't. You never have enough loot. Have you played State of Decay 2? Yes, I've made a few videos on State of Decay 2. I've made even a few live streams on State of Decay 2. Maybe I'll continue with State of the K2 in the future. Can't promise anything, as we never know. But maybe. Just maybe. Okay, let's drop some of these first aid kits here. And, uh... Yeah, let's open up a few more chests. This base doesn't have any, sadly, spike traps. So I'll just have to wait until a zombie kills me here. And then I'll be able to come back and steal even more loot. That's what we will do. Okay, so I'll open up a few more chests now. Bam. Lots of iron. Don't need it. Uh, goop. Don't need it. Okay, we had beans. Some of you suggested to get those beans. Maybe we will get them. I'm not gonna lie. Perhaps we will get those beans. Okay, more 
of that stuff. And that is it. Let's kill every single zombie here but one. Let's leave one alive. And then let's come back to this place. And let's get even more loot. Okay, so my armor is about to break, so we're also going to get a new armor from the base. Okay, cool. That's what we'll do. Okay, I'm going to let them attack me a little bit. Alrighty, got only 50 health here. Okay, we'll shoot the zombie just quite a bit. And I think that's it. I'll just wait here in one spot. Doesn't really look like there are any more zombies. So I'll die. And I'll get the rest of the stuff. Have you played Daisy? Yes, I have played Daisy on the channel. I've made a few lives. I've made a few videos. I haven't made any live streams. There might be more live streams on Daisy, perhaps, someday in the future. I know, we'll see. Are you active on social media? I'm active on YouTube. I don't really post anywhere else. As where else am I supposed to post? There's nothing else uh, where I post. There are no other social medias where I post. To. I have Instagram. I posted there a few pictures a while ago. I have Twitter. Which is bleh. That's what I think about Twitter. If I had to describe Twitter with a sound effect, I would describe it as bleh. But I still have it. That's how I get my news. That's how I know if the world is ending or not. And that is pretty much it. Free to play part three. What do you mean part three free to play? We've just posted a few free to play videos. Quite recently. Oh lord, we got pumpkins. Uh, nine pumpkins. Where do they go? It's better and smarter to store those pumpkins here. Whatever, let's drop those pumpkins. Sound like I'll ever use them, but let's just get those pumpkins. Uh, let's get a new armor, because that armor is about to break, and maybe the big one's gonna spawn, so it's always better to have a new, fresh set of armor. Wait, have I cleaned the chopper? Have I gotten rid of the things? Yes, it is empty. We can go. Twitter is goop, says Mango. It do be like that. It is a little bit goop. On the goopier side, on the goopo meter, it would get 10 out of 10. And 10 out of 10 is being pretty goopy. Okay, maybe it'd get 9 out of 10. Maybe it could still be goopier. All right, let's hop into this base and let's steal the rest of the weapons. It's like, any advice for free-to-play players? Yes, make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. There I explain and share all of my wise knowledge. So there we go. If you want to get some of that wise last internet knowledge, make sure to check out my free to play playlist. Uh, okay, let's deal with this dude. And I need to give this dude probably some of that broken armor. Then I'll go and fill up the chopper. Do you, do you have any tips on how to get the chopper? Yes, Bunker Alpha, that's your tip and trick. Or you can also clear the farm location. Sometimes you can get lucky and get like some chopper parts there. If the barn opens up, but it doesn't always open up, it's random. Sometimes it opens up, sometimes it doesn't. So there's that. Um, let's get the rest of the stuff. Let's drop that armor over here. There we go. And let's see what else we can get here. More first aid kits. Bruh. That is beautiful. I'm gonna open up probably the rest of these chests to see what else we can get here. If I can find guns, I will get guns instead of meds, probably. But we will see. Okay, so this place only has a few more chests left. So I think we will be able to open up all of them before the big one. So that's kind of cool. That is. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a nice base, guys. How would you rate this base? From 0 to 10. Myself, personally, I'd like probably give it a 9 out of 10. It is a nice base. It is a really great base. This amount of... I mean, again, we got a bunch of bandages. So, I mean, that's why it doesn't get a 10 out of 10, right? If it had just first aid kits, it probably would have been a 10 out of 10. But even with this amount of bandages is great. So, yeah, 9 out of 10 is... Is... Is perfect, in my opinion.
is perfect. Okay, so we got a few more of these chests. Okay, actually, two more chests. I'll do a few hits here. A few hits here. I don't think there's anything else we can find. Yeah, I'm just going to triple, quadruple check these things. I mean, there are a few crates here, but I doubt that they got anything. Honestly. I'll see. My greed is going to kill me here today. But I'm ready for it. I'm absolutely ready for it, ladies and gentlemen. May the greed get me. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's it. We're going to get nothing in those other crates. Maybe I'm not going to be so greedy. That is it. I'm skedaddling from this place. I said this base gets Sykes approval. It was a seriously awesome raid. A phenomenal raid. A total phenomenal raid. A phenomenal, phenomenal raid. I would have preferred more guns. I have more than enough meds, so 7 out of 10. I mean, I agree. I definitely would have preferred guns to meds, like for sure. Uh, like, that's a no-brainer, but, uh, I mean, I can't give it a 7 out of 10, because getting meds is really awesome as well. And whenever I raid bases, I usually try to raid them not for what I want, but usually for just a general base. I don't know. It depends. It gets my approval. It's a nice base. It's a nice, nice base. Except now, where do we store those first aid kits? That is the question. Um, everything's full in this chest. Everything is full in this chest as well. Oh lord, we got eight steaks. What else can I drop here? I have no idea. Well, we'll need to find... Uh, I know what we'll do. We'll just feed the doggos. There we go, that is a bit better and still not enough. Still not enough. I'll feed those doggos though with that meat. Not enough space. Okay, we can store some meds here. Which is still not enough. And this thing is full as well and filled with stuff. How about I get rid of that stuff and bam, bam and... Uh, I don't even know, ladies and gents. What am I gonna do here? Bro's gonna feed the dogs for days. Not really. All of that meat is probably gonna last like for four hours max. Okay, five hours. So yeah, they got enough food for five hours. There we go. Eat! The fridge, Mr. Cyrus. The fridge is... Oh, actually, wait, you got a point. We got... We had a full fridge of turkeys. And I've used up some of them. I think we... Okay, we don't have lots of space here. Forget it. Just forget it. Just forget it. The fridge, Mr. Psych. It is full. The fridge is as full as me, because I am a fool as well. Not like fool, like fool, but fool like. I'm a fool. Like an idiot, right? I'm as full as this fridge. I don't have food for myself, and I have 30 doggos. Good. I guess, whatever, let's just feed them. There we go, it's gonna last for 13 hours. Um... Yeah, that raid was amazing. I really have nothing to complain about. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally the time. The title, right? You might be like, again, wondering. Sorry, what was finally the time? It's finally the time to do 99 waves, because we haven't done them in about a few weeks, I think. About every two weeks, we get that police department event, and I usually clear 99 waves during that event, so... It's kinda cool. It's kind of cool. Acid bath. Guys, I'm not going to drop medkits in the acid bath. Like, that that, uh, that creates a messy base. You guys keep telling me, Psych, sort out your base. And then you have uh, comments like, Psych, drop medkits in your acid bath. All right. All right. Let's get ready for those 99 waves, though. Well, that fridge can fit a lot of turkeys. Yes, indeed, that fridge does fit a lot of turkeys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's get some first aid kits. Let's get some more armors. 
And let's begin. Let's begin, ladies and gents. 99 ways. We'll probably go get the Brutalizer, as always. How else are we gonna clear uh, 99 waves? Right, it's always with the Brutalizer. Whatever, let's get the SWAT armors. Um, I'll probably get a Glock just to clear some space. Okay, I don't keep my Glocks here, gotta remember. That's where I store my goodies. Maybe let's not bring a Glock. As I said, I want to save those Glocks for raids. Let's get an Uzi. Oh, wow, and we got meds here in this chopper. Whatever, we'll need to move it somewhere. We'll need to move those meds. I have no idea where we'll keep those meds. We have way too much food in the base. We need to do something about food. We also need to get more ash planks. As I said many times, I want developers to add a lumber mill. Because... And I think, yeah, developers could definitely work on that idea. I'm not saying that it has to be, like, particularly lumber mill, but it is pretty boring to farm things in the game and you can't auto-clear these wild bogs. You can auto-clear, like, let's say, the limestones and whatever. So at least you can get basic resources, but you can't really auto-clear that. So it's kind of annoying. Would be awesome to go and clear a lumber mill. Let's say you clear, like, transport hub, and in the transport hub, you get a few stacks of ash logs. That'd be great. That's what I want to get. Because farming wood isn't as fun as clearing a location. Is your medicine cabinet full? Yes, the medicine cabinet is full as well. What would a lumber mill include? Lumber, obviously. Duh. <laughs> That's why we need a lumber mill. Again, it depends on the location, how many guns we have to use and how many everything. Obviously, it's still going to be more efficient to just go to the swamp zone and clear that lumber mill, but it would be cool if the swamp zone would have a lumber mill. You go there, you clear it, you get a few stacks of ash trees. Again, it depends on how many resources I have to use there. It still should be more efficient to just farm wood on your own, but if you don't want to farm, you just go clear that place, you get ash trees. It's a fun location, I'd be able to go there more frequently. It'd be more fun, and that is it. Because you know and I know, we all know that farming is pretty boring, and... Yeah, we could do something else instead of just a mindless farm. Like farming a lumber mill. Alright. That's what I want. And I think it's a genius idea. That is it. Give raiders 100 meds. Okay, I still haven't paid the raiders. I need to give them probably an electronic circuit and I need to call them again. So as soon as I get back to the base, I will call them. And Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. Water of shame. Thanks, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was a nice water. Thank you, man. Thank you for... Wait, it's not feeding me. If you gave me water, what is the, that action of you giving me water? Thank you for uh, not thirsting me for anti-thirsting. No, it doesn't work. Thank you for clenching my thirst. But how is the word? Thank you for giving me something to drink. But is there a word? I have no idea. Hydrating. Well, thanks for hydrating me. Maybe that that's a nice word. Yeah, probably that's what I'm searching for. Maybe hydrate. Yeah, thanks for hydrating me. Yeah. Thanks for quenching uh, my thirst. Thanks for hydrating me. That's better. Uh, what do you think about the submarine and how do you think it will work? In my opinion, we will be able to unlock it by completing the trolley and uh, it will unlock a underwater map. What do you think? Says Zip Zap. Absolutely agree with you. A post office could be cool and you could get a package every day. Says Weedempt. Amazing. Thanks for watering me. Yes. I think this should make the new armor craftable, but even crafting a Kevlar armor is impossible. Agreed. A comedy by Happy Cyric. I mean, that's what the comments are saying. I'm not making that stuff up. Quenching, satisfying, hydrating, drowning. Yes, thanks for drowning me, Zachary. <laughs> and then drowning my thirst, but thanks for drowning me, Zachary. Quenching your thirst, Zachary. Thanks, man. Thanks once again for a super chat. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for everything. And yeah, thanks for quenching my thirst.
Or here in France, they say merci. See? I've lived in France for... For like, what, five years? And I've learned the word merci. If that's not... Genius. I don't know what is genius. So smash like, smash subscribe if you're a genius as well. Do we get these grenade launchers and I just blast all of those zombies with grenade launchers? Yeah, let's get more of them. The more we get, the better. Let's get that amount of grenade launchers. I might get some more first aid kits because we can never have too many of them. Doesn't merci mean thanks? That's what I said, thanks! I said thanks! Or as in France, we say merci and somebody said, Psych, merci means thanks. That's what I just said. But okay, boomers. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we need... We need loot. First and foremost, we need loot. Second of all... I don't know what we need. We need something to say lag. My brain is always lagging. I'm lagging. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, so we're just gonna go there. We will repair these grenade launchers at the gas station, and that is it. And I'll be ready to roll. Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. We ready. We got stuff. Pay the raiders. Oh, yeah, I haven't paid them yet. But do we really need to pay them? Yeah, let's pay the raiders. Wait, I'm gonna go back to the base. I'll pay those raiders and then we'll go and do whatever because I still haven't paid them. Maybe we'll do like some sort of tasks in our way or whatever. They say no audio. Audio is there. Everything is there. Stop it. Stop lying. Hello, Syrx, says Stargamer. I just joined. What we doing? We're about to raid. We're about to do 99 waves. That's what we're doing. We are about to do 99 waves. That's what we're doing. So buckle up, buckaroos. Fasten your seat belts. And get ready. And yeah, plus, uh, recently we've just done a good raid, like maybe 10 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago. And that raid had insane loot. It was like a 9 out of 10 base. 99 raids. Yes, guys, we're about to do 99 raids. So buckle up. Buckle up. Red Force should return. I saw a lot of people wanting the Red Force back, and maybe I agree with you. Maybe we should get the Red Force, because yeah, I think Red Force was better than that. Whatever that place is called right now, I even forgot about it. The, the abandoned factory, right? If you earn one dollar per second, how long uh, does it take to become a billionaire, Sire? Is that like a question? Am I doing your homework? I mean... There we go, that's a billion. The amount of minutes, amount of hours, amount of... Days. An amount of years. 31.8 years. Unless I've done something wrong and I missed a zero. 31.7 years. Almost 32 years. So that's how long it would take me to become a billionaire. There we go. Uh, let's go to the blackboard. BD. Oh no, we're not going there. We gotta repair the guns first. That's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Okay, so I see more people in the chat saying 32 years, 31.7. Okay, so it was right then. Wow, psych solving homeworks. It do be like that. The only thing that is better is that you get a task for the raiders to kill the colonel. He automatically spawns there. You don't have to keep searching for him. Yes, indeed. That is the best part probably about that. About that not advanced factory, but the abandoned factory. That's probably the best thing. Yes. I agree. 
Okay, let's get stack of meds. I haven't looked in this black market since forever, and it's kind of bleh. That's what I have to say. It is kind of bleh. Perhaps let's get this buff. Uh, I'm glad that we didn't get 20 extra health. At least people won't be asking every three seconds, how do you have 140 health? So that's good. That is good. Now let's try to repair these grenade launchers. And let's skedaddle. And let's do the 99 waves, ladies and gentlemen. And then we'll open up a few purple cards. I don't know how many. Do I repair this one? Eh, let's do it. Why not? How do you have 140 health? I don't have 140 health. Guys, stop it. Okay, let's get that brutalizer. That's how we get it. You don't enjoy those questions, says Pink Lady. I mean, it's just that I've answered that question many times already. I assume you were, you were kidding by asking that question. Like, psych, how do you get a brutalizer? I mean, I've already answered it. You get in the, you get that in the VIP. How do you have 120 health and not 100 health? You get 20 more health by, from getting perks when you level up. Me waiting for Cyric to respond. What is your question then? E I like. What is your question? Is tactical stock better than ergonomic grip? I don't know. Hopefully you appreciate that answer. <laughs> Hopefully you appreciate that answer. I have no idea. As I said, make sure to go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric Mods and I have two videos. And uh, in those videos, I basically like showcase probably all of the mods and I explain which mods are better, which mods are worse. So make sure to check that video out. But like, when will you play Last on Earth? Perhaps one day? Perhaps one day. Okay, let's get ready, buckaroos. See, as I said, today I wanted to do five push-ups per wave, so I wanted to do 500 push-ups during this live stream, but yeah, I didn't get a second camera, and uh, I mean, I could have went and gotten it, but mm, I wasn't sure about it as I, as I said, I haven't been working out in over a year, so maybe doing 500 push-ups out of, out of the blue is not very smart. So instead, I'll do nothing. There we go. And Zachary Castleman, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks, Zachary. Welcome to the stream once again for the third time today or fourth time. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Every time I'll see you in the chat, I'll always say welcome. Every time I see somebody, it's always a welcome from me. Welcome. It's just a habit. Welcome, everybody. Do it. 500 push-ups and five backflips. Sure. How to upgrade walls and boxes faster by clicking the upgrade button and getting the right resources? I don't know. That is a weird... That, that is a very weird question that I can't answer. Okay, that is it, ladies and gents. I'm ready. One push-up for every five waves. I mean, that's not going to be a challenge then. Like, I'm sure... Like, I'm 100% sure that I could do, like, 300 push-ups in 100 waves. Like, that's, that's nothing. But, like, 500 push-ups. That's something. I'm not sure about it. The first like 30, 40 waves will be fine, but the last uh, other waves will become kind of weirder. I don't know. Oh no, this zombie is dead, but at least it's not dead too close to that zero. At least I can see the waves here. That is it, I'm ready. Let's start these 99 waves. So today we have like that event. So even if I die here, everything is still gonna stay. The waves will stay saved. They won't reset because of this Blackport PD event. And that's basically the reason why we even do these 99 waves. Eat your headphones, says Abba. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Do 500 burpees after 99 waves. I don't think I'd be able to do 500 burpees. I'm not even 100% sure what's a burpee. I think it's like a push-up. A... 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 A crunch and a squat, I guess. 
That's a burpee. So yeah, I won't be able to do 500 burpees, dude. I'll die. Like my heart will literally stop probably. Okay, let's start using probably these grenade launchers. I could do probably easy 50 burpees. I could easily do three burpees, ladies and gentlemen. I can do one burpee, okay? One blue card equals one push-up. Guys, stop it. Okay, let's do one more wave. And also, another thing that you need to remember is that every... There's a limited amount of dead bodies that can be on the map, and if you exceed that limit, cards will start despawning, so make sure to pick up your cards like every two waves or something, every wave. The faster, the better. What if I put that minimal? Will it lag less? Because it is kind of lagging here, and I don't appreciate it. There we go. It's lagging a lot less right now without the... without the shadows, with minimal graphics. It's a lot better. Five ways a slap in the face. Yes. Who volunteers to slap me? We need, we need lots of volunteers. I mean, your hand will hurt. We need a lot of volunteers, ladies and gentlemen. That's a way for me to know who to ban in the chat. If you volunteer, there's the back door. Abba says me, well, that is it. You're the first one to get banned here because you lined up to slap me. What is wrong with you? What did I do to deserve that? The A says the the emoji. You're, you're banned as well. So all of those that lined up to slap me in the face, you're banned. Banned for life. That is it. That is it. You guys kept telling me that you have, you have those hitchhikers thumbs, that we are family. And here you are. I said it as a joke. Who wants to slap me? And you all started lining up. We started fighting who will be the first one to slap me. Very nice people. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'll join the band list. Yeah. Like, since the Rottweiler update, my tablet has been lagging on Ultra a lot. Yeah, it's lagging. It is lagging. It is lagging, mate. Okay, let's get the rest of these cards. And so far, we've gotten zero blue. For those who do not know, we'll exchange most of my blue cards today for purple. Maybe we'll just open up one purple, because opening up two purple kind of makes no sense. I think opening up one purple or two purple is base gives the same effect. Right? It's a purple card, so I don't think I need to open up, like, three purple. Unless you guys want me to open up more purple. I mean, at the end, you'll be able to vote, right? Maybe on wave 90 or something, I'll create a poll. And we'll see how many blue cards we have, and I'll create a poll, guys, and you'll be able to vote on how many purple cards you want me to open up. What are your thoughts on Cleaver fully modded, says Star Gamer? Good. It's, it's a good weapon. Fully modded Cleaver is a good weapon indeed. I like it. It is pretty decent. One wave, spend one blast on a coin. I mean, what are we gonna do with one coin here? There's nothing to buy with that one coin. Okay, grenade launcher is about to break. So we need to get another one. And Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. It is about time I be a member. Thanks, mate, for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's a lot easier to see members in the chat. And I'm not just saying that so you guys would become members. Becoming a member supports the channel. And yeah, it's a lot easier to see the messages. But it do be like that. I always try to read all the messages nonetheless. But yeah, thanks guys for all of your support. And let's go. Let's blast some more zombies here. One purple. Save the disappointment for the next opening as well. I mean, for the next opening, we'll do more 99 waves again and I'll open up more cards. Right? I'll open up more cards. 
And we'll get more blows, so we'll be able to open up more purple. So we'll see. As I said, around 90, around wave 90, I'll see how many purple cards we have. And if I have, like, maybe 20 purple, I'll do a poll if we open up one or two purple. Something like that. We will do one or two purple. Get that. Was last on Earth a success for Kefir? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like fast. Do 99 waves fast. I mean, I'm doing them as fast as I can. Plus, my armor is about to break. So, I'll probably need to switch to a bit different armor. Matthew, thanks for the super chat. You can almost kill a whole wave with a landmine. You can not almost kill it, but you can actually kill it. Sometimes some of those zombies escape, but that's that's rare. Still no blue. Is your bloodhound active? Uh, no. No, it's not active. How do you get the repair station? It's a pay-to-win station. You get it in the VIP section at the at the gas station. Bam. I'll probably just... You know what? I wanted to explode that zombie with a grenade launcher. But I'll just save that grenade launcher for when we have two riot zombies in one spot. Somebody once said opening purple cards is stupid. I can't remember who said it though. Recently I saw a guy on YouTube. He makes awesome last and style videos. His name is Happy Cyrek. And I think he said that. That opening up purple cards is kind of stupid. So be careful, guys. Don't open up purple cards unless your name is Happy Cyrek. Okay, ride zombie goodbye. How much cash for the Brutalizer? I have no idea. Maybe the chat knows how much cash for the Brutalizer. If I'm not mistaken, you need to spend like 10 or something dollars every day to keep that Brutalizer. Or something like that. I'm not sure though. As I said, I got that Brutalizer from the developers. It's not my Brutalizer, really. So there's that. Okay, let's go for the wave 26. Alright, zombie sayonara. Do you have the new doggo already? As I said, I'm not getting the new Rottweiler. It is pretty goop. That is my opinion about it. Unless, you know what, someday in the future, maybe they'll add him somewhere in other places and I'll be able to find it. And if I find it, then yes. But so far, it's only available in the shop, so I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the new doggo. About 300 to get a VIP level for, brutal for Brutalizer, says DA. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of moolah. And that is it. We're almost at wave 30. So if I was doing push-ups, I would have done almost 150 push-ups at this point. Yeah. I would have been dead. Bro started an hour ago. Yeah, we, I've started a live stream about an hour ago. Welcome to the stream to those that have just joined. Welcome. We're doing 99 waves, and then we're going to open up a few purple cards. Rottweilers might be in the upcoming suburbs, my theory, maybe. Maybe you are right. Maybe.
what other games do you play other than Last and Earth? I mean, you can just go on YouTube. Uh, on our channel, right? Hop to this channel and uh, you'll find what games we play here. Go to videos or go to playlist and you'll see what other games I've played here. If you're asking about that. And if you're asking about what games I play off camera, it's mainly Witcher 3 and CSGO. Okay, let's go wave 32. That's why I suggested. Uh, that's why I suggested to start slow, one per five waves, then work your way up. Um, one push up per five waves. That will be a little bit embarrassing. I mean, even one push up per five waves is probably a bit embarrassing. I don't know. I don't know if that would have been embarrassing or not. I have no idea. In any case, it will be like that. It's like, can you do a reaction video about your first video playing Last Earth? So every time I open up my older video, it's kind of cringy. Not all of them, though. There is a... I think there is a period of time. I don't know, it depends. It also depends on in which mood I am. Sometimes when I'll open up an older video, I'm like, eh, hey, that's fine. Sometimes I'll open it, I'm like, eh, hey, that's good. So, I don't know. No, I wouldn't do a reaction to my first ever Last Dinner video. If this video hits 1 million likes, I'll do a reaction to that older video. That would be a great video. I mean, there isn't really much to react to that video. It's like... It'll be like a 10 second reaction video. I mean, there's nothing much I can say there. I mean, I really don't know what to comment on that video. I'm just playing Last and Earth for the first time. And things haven't changed that much. Like, I can go to Last and Earth, I can say that, oh, three icons have changed, and that's it. Other than that, the game is still the same as it is right now, so there wouldn't even be much to comment, like, about Last and Earth to say that I, this and this has changed. Now we have different things, but no, everything's still the same. Nothing has changed. So, I don't know. I know perhaps one day... When you went to your first bunker alpha run naked, super duper cool. I don't remember, honestly, those things I don't remember. I only know that I'm only aware of my first ever last dinner survival video that I made. I played it on a phone, obviously. And that is it. That's all I kind of remember. I've seen that video. I've seen the beginning of that video maybe a few times. Other than that, I don't really know what I do in that video, what I accomplished there. And I know that we had like more live streams where I go to Bunker Alpha for the first time. I remember I went to Bunker Alpha for the first time and people were telling me that hey, it's, a, it's a dangerous place. Do not go there. You can't do it. And I'd kill a zombie there and I'd be like, oh, what awaits me there? It was kind of interesting. But yeah, other than that, I don't remember anything. So maybe me reacting to my first Bunker Alpha run... That would be a cool idea. Like me reacting to my beginnings, to my last inner beginnings. There we go, finally, my first blue card, ladies and gentlemen. Say so maybe reacting to my like last inner beginnings. That might be actually a cool video, but at the same time, I'm still not sure about it. The beginnings, us clearing Bunker Alpha for the first time. Maybe Bunker Alpha was different because I do know when this game came out, Bunker Alpha was different. You could find chopper parts at the end of the first floor of Bunker Alpha or something like that. And then it changed. And I think... And I'm not really sure if I started playing this game after Bunker Alpha changed or during those changes. I'd have to watch my older videos to figure out what's going on. But yeah, back in the days, it was popular to kill Savage Giants with... The Frenzy Giants, excuse me, not Savage Giants. Frenzy Giants with bows. That's kind of interesting. I'm um, wave 35 and zero cards have dropped. Okay, there are some other people doing 99 waves as well. 
Let's go. We're doing 99 waves together. Buggers. First witch hunt. First witch hunt. I mean, we could probably find videos on first everything, like my first Bunker Bravo, first Laboratory, first... I mean, f those videos are kind of more recent. But like, first witch. First police department. First farm location. Those might be... Actually pretty interesting. Who knows, maybe I'll do a video like that someday in the future. I'm not too excited about it. As I said, maybe it's a little bit cringy, maybe no, maybe yes, I don't know, but... Maybe that'll happen one day, who knows? Maybe, maybe that's a decent idea. First raid, yes indeed. First everything. My first raid, my first bunker alpha. Remember when you use the bow in Bunker Alpha? It took you 90 years to clear it. It didn't really take you 90 years to clear it. It was relatively fast. It was probably faster than using a Voltric right now, to be completely honest. I have no idea why they nerfed bows so much in this game. I mean, bows were pretty cool, but then, yeah, they nerfed those bows so that they do less damage to Frenzy Giants. So now they do less damage. Say so collect cards, there we go, just collected them. Play GTA 5 story mode. I played GTA 5 story mode about two years ago. Maybe three years ago, but I played it off camera. So will I play it on camera? I don't know, I doubt it. Perhaps, would be cool, maybe. Probably not. When GTA 6 comes out though, then maybe we'll grind it. If it ever comes out in my lifetime. I think we have a higher chance. Maybe not really. I think actually we have a higher chance of getting GTA 6 than the chopper. And I mean it actually probably honestly. If I had to bet. I'd probably bet on GTA 6 coming out first before the helicopter. I'll actually make a poll right now. What will come out first. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Participate in the poll. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what... What will come out first? GTA 6. L-D-O-E helicopter. There we go, guys. Vote. Let's see. I said I honestly believe that probably GTA 6 will come out first. Before the helicopter. How do you get grenade launchers, though? From blue cards, I guess. You can also maybe get them from season passes, but mostly from... Not blue cards, excuse me, not the blue cards, but the... Uh, floppy crates. Those things are called floppy crates. I still remember the day when GTA 5 came out. I never played it when it came out. I just knew that it came out and it was a huge game. Everybody talked about it. But I, like... I never played it. As I said, I only played it about two years ago. For the first time. But it came out like on Xbox? Xbox 360 maybe? No, I don't remember. But yeah, that's the... That's my guess. GTA 6 is gonna come out before the helicopter. It came out in PS3. I mean, it came out in PS3, but also... It was probably available on... An Xbox 360. Must have been. Helicopter will never come out. Probably! That's why I believe that GTA 6 will come out. I believe that GTA 6 will come out one day. But helicopter, I'm not actually sure about. I just broke my grenade launcher talking about the helicopter. No. No. Okay, if... There we go. Let's do a test right now. Uh, if... Actually, let's pick up all of these cards. Maybe let's not pick up all of these cards. Maybe let's pick up all of them. Wait. 
So there we go. If helicopter ever comes out and lands on Earth, then this is supposed to be a blue card. If it's not a blue card, then helicopter never comes out, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a green card, so it's a maybe. <laughs> it's a maybe. But I mean, I expected a brown card. So who knows? It wasn't a blue card, so helicopter is never coming out. That's it. Let's make it simple. It's not coming out. GTA Vice City. I played Vice City. Those buggers. I know that they remastered Vice City or something. But yeah, I haven't played it. Perhaps one day. Maybe here on the channel. I don't think I've ever beaten Vice City, but I've spent the uh, countless hours in Vice City. Let's go here. I think one of the reasons why I never beaten GTA Vice City is because at that time there was a mentality that you had to play with cheat codes. And if you're not using cheat codes while playing GTA, then you're doing something wrong. And cheat codes would kind of ruin everything. Like, you wouldn't have to do anything. I don't know. It was a weird time. People would print cheat codes on paper. Don't be like that. Are we gonna do the crater? No, guys, we're not gonna play in the crater today. Stop it. Don't mention the crater. What should I focus on? Being lucky and getting oak tree event or use uh, the generator to unlock the oak tree place? Yeah, unlock that northern location. That'll be probably smarter. Hundred percent San Andreas without cheat codes, maybe. I'm not saying you didn't. Okay, we are at five blue. Still not a lot of blue cards. It's kinda bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Probably do one more wave and then I'll start picking up those cards. And even though, again, we don't get lots of blue cards at the very beginning, we might get some blue cards later on. It has happened to us many times. And hopefully... History will repeat itself today as well. Hopefully we'll get more blue cards later on. Because as of right now, it's a pathetic amount of blue cards. It's a pretty pathetic amount of blue cards. Imagine if they added a nuke where you could just kill all zombies in a forest or rocky area and all the resources would just drop. Huh? I'm glad I read that. I'm glad. I'm glad I read that. Very nice comment. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Let's get more first aid kits. And yeah, we still can probably do two more shots with this grenade launcher. I still don't have my chopper. I'm at level 60, 70. And it's not that bad. Keep grinding. Hopefully, you'll get it. Just keep doing Bunker Alpha and the uh, farm location. Okay, I can do one more shot. Probably, maybe two more shots. I don't remember. Probably only one more. Yeah, that was only one more shot. Only one more shot. Is hard mode laboratory worth to clear? No, it's not worth it. It is absolutely not worth to clear it. It's probably the worst deal from the entire game. The hard mode laboratory is... Totally not worth it. One of the worst places to clear in the game. I 
don't think there is a worse place to do it. Do you have any tips on getting bike parts? As I said, Bunker Alpha from Red and Yellow Crates. And uh, the farm location, if that barn opens up. It doesn't always open up, but sometimes it does open up. In Scum Series, did you boost the loot spawn rate to? Yes, it's set to 2x. We could boost it even more because we don't always find a lot of loot. Some people suggest boosting it even more, but I guess um, I'm happy with the amount of loot we get there. It's fine. Okay, let's go for the wave 65. Let's do it. At this point, I would have had done over 300 push-ups. Bruh. Which mercenaries are the best to upgrade? I mean, I'd suggest upgrading Connor. Then Karma is kind of alright if you have her. And then I kind of don't know. Honestly. You'll need to upgrade a lot of other mercenaries as well. Like, basically upgrade whatever mercenaries you probably have. Just don't upgrade that... Uh, that mercenary with the golf club. She's kind of useless there. But yeah, Karma. Then Connor. They're fine. Then there are some other two mercenaries. They're kind of decent. And other than that, I don't even know. Other than that, I have no idea. Okay, we need to drink and eat. So how about I pop these jerkies? There we go. Okay, let's wait for them to drop their shields. And then I'll be able to pop them. There we go. Perhaps more blue cards. Seriously, this is a pretty sad bunker. Eh, not bunker, but the police department run. Not a lot of blue cards at all. We get almost nothing. It's like, are you gonna play Skyrim? Excuse me, I probably made a few videos on Skyrim. They're not on YouTube, but uh, because I've deleted them, but I have made a few videos on Skyrim. And Hank Amano! Thank you for becoming a member. It's been quite a while here. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Riot Zombie is the most annoying zombie. Not gonna lie, says uh, Benedict. It do be like that. It do be like that. It's like, when will you fight with the swamp big one? In the swamp tower? What? There is no swamp tower. But I would like to fight the Swamp Big One. As I said, I tried... I've searched once for the Swamp Big One. I think I've spent an hour, maybe even two hours, just running from one place to another place. From one Swamp Zone to another Swamp Zone to kill that Swamp Big One. But I never found it when I had guns on me. Then I found the Big One a few times, but... I didn't have enough guns on me. So, yeah. But I wanted to do it when they released that swamp location. I wanted to kill the swamp big one. Oh no, another grenade launcher just broke. No. I'll never be able to recover from that. I'll never be able to recover that grenade launcher. It's just gone. It's like I want Skyrim series. No, you don't. But I would love to play Skyrim. Like, absolutely. Absolutely. I have played Skyrim. I have probably a couple of hundred hours in Skyrim. Same maybe in Oblivion. But yeah, I played those games a really long time ago. I don't even know. Are they working on Skyrim 6? Not on Skyrim 6, but Elder Scrolls 6. Or was it Elder Scrolls 5? Because Skyrim is... The fourth installment of Elder Scrolls. I don't know. 
Okay, I know there's Oblivion. I know there's Morrowind. I also played some Morrowind. Then there is... Yeah, Skyrim, and that's it. Okay, eight cards. There we go. I said that we're going to get some more. Okay, so that's already a little bit better. That is a bit better. And Torchy, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, Torchy. The Witcher 3, yes, The Witcher 3 is awesome. I'm kind of playing it off camera sometimes, occasionally. I've beaten it already twice. I've beaten the main Witcher 3 twice. I've beaten the DLCs only once. So currently I am kinda trying to beat the DLCs as well, once again for the second time. Haven't played it in a few weeks, perhaps even over a month even. But yeah. Did I clear 40 ways? Absolutely no blue cards. That's why I stopped doing it. Maybe you would have gotten more blue cards at the very end. As I said, sometimes you get more blue cards at the end. It does happen. Or maybe you would have gotten just nothing. As I said, I've heard stories from some people here in the chat. From people saying that they've gotten like, what, four? Or like eight blue cards from 99 waves. Or maybe five. I don't know how many blue cards they've gotten there. But yeah, it is totally possible to not get a lot of blue cards after... 99 waves. Play Resident Evil 4 Remake on stream. I mean, we've beaten Resident Evil 4 Remake uh, over a month ago. So, I don't know. I'd be actually more excited to replay Resident Evil 2 for some reason. As I have played Resident Evil 2 a really long time ago. I played it like, what, four years ago, maybe? Three, four years ago. Okay, bunch of brown. More brown, and so far, I see. Okay, another blue. There we go, that's nice, nine blue. Nine blow. Not gonna say no to that. No, I broke! I saw that it's gonna break and it's still broken. Ah. Ah. No. I saw that, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely saw that. And yet I still let it break. I got five blue cards from 30 waves. Is that lucky? And that's all right. Sometimes you can get five blue, maybe in like 15 waves, but it's like that would be lucky. But like five blue in 30 waves, I'd say that's like pretty average. Maybe it's it's more on a luckier side, but it's like it's it's a good average. It's healthy average. I started shooting that grenade launcher. I looked at the durability. I'm like, it's gonna break. But it was too late. I was already shooting it. Three grenade launchers broken so far, says Matthias. Yes. Thanks for keeping the count. Okay, let's destroy this. How to get that yellow thingy from the VIP. Warning armor is gonna break. Uh, will it though? I mean, usually it breaks every 20 or something waves and yeah, we are at wave 80. So this is our like what fourth armor. I still think we can do a few more waves. It breaks every 22, 23 waves. Wave 82, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but maybe next time when we get another 99 waves event or something, when we get another police department event, maybe then I will be ready for 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 the challenge, doing like five push-ups every wave. 
The live stream is gonna be a bit longer. It'll probably take us like four hours or something. Because already just doing 99 waves takes us like what, 40 or something minutes? So if I have to... Wow, I died there. I have no idea how I even died there. Wait, did my armor break? My probably armor broke. I just kept saying how it lasts 23 or something waves and it just broke. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But hey, luckily we have that event now, so it doesn't matter. We can just go back there and get the loot. So that's what I will do. What should I do with extra copper parts? There's nothing you can do with extra copper parts at all. Really, there's nothing you can do about it. Is honeycomb base good and ready for raiding? Steel plates are so expensive and I really don't want to raid right now. A and I really want to raid right now, says Vince. Yeah, you can definitely try. Try to put your most important loot still at the very middle of the base. Don't put it in the corners on the sides. Try to stash most of your, like, the most important loot in Bunker Alpha, perhaps Bunker Bravo. And yeah, then just go for it. Maybe, maybe you'll be fine. Maybe you'll actually be fine. How can you pause the waves? Because of the event. Because we have this police department event. So the waves still stay there even if you're dead. If it wasn't for the event, I'd be using reanimators. Okay, let's get more of those. Let's get another set of armor. Let's get some first aid kits and let's keep rolling. We're gonna have one more shot here. Let's use one more shot. Uh, it's like, why aren't other people based showing up on my map? You need to be level 150 and uh, the raider tasks, and you're not doing, you're not raiding real players anyways. Those are fake players. Those are bots. So you're not raiding real players. Recently, I made a video on everything you need to know about raids, so make sure to check it out. Go on the channel, you'll find it there. Wave 84, ladies and gentlemen. Will you open a purple crate? Yeah, I'll probably just open up one purple crate, though. I wanted to open up two, but I don't think we'll get enough blue cards. Honestly. I don't think we will get enough blue cards. Because I barely have nine blue cards here. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll get 20. I have 12 at the base, but I kind of don't want to exchange them. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I died there on purpose, guys, because I was thirsty. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to waste my jerky. I didn't have any water, so I died on purpose there. Just so that my hunger meter would reset. Absolutely. 100%. That's what happened. I can confirm. Is it worth place turrets at the base? Probably no. For those who do not know, if you don't have a lot of space in the base and if you don't like turrets, don't place them even because turrets don't really do anything. You need to add fuel to them and they they don't do anything. Honestly, turrets are the most useless probably things in the game that you can craft. Even when you add lots of fuel, that fuel doesn't last for too long. I think like what stack of fuel for a day or something. It's very expensive. And literally those turrets do nothing. So, don't even bother placing them. And the point is, once you place those turrets, you won't be able to remove them from the base. So they'll always stay there. You'll be able to move them around the base, but you won't be able to completely get rid of them. As you can get rid of decorations, so... Probably don't place them if you don't want them. That'll be the best advice that I can give you about those turrets. Okay. 
Okay, so we got 12 more waves to do. And then purple cards, here I come. Or perhaps just a purple card. And at the same time, I wanted to reset my Duggo because I didn't have any Duggo treats here with me, so... The reason why I died because I wanted to reset my thirst, my hunger, and my Duggo. There we go. So that was a calculated death, ladies and gentlemen. Plus, I wanted to show you that you can peacefully die in this event and your progress still will be saved. Genius. An absolute genius. Okay, this grenade launcher is gonna break soon. Let's get another one. Okay. I'll wait for you to open purple cards before I open mine. You shouldn't open up your purple cards. As I said, don't open them up. As I said, do not open up those purple cards. They're bad, they're pointless, don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, I can't stop you. You can do whatever you want, but I am suggesting it to not do it. Is it possible to get a purple card in those dead zombies? No. It is not possible. What if you want purple mods? Then you can do what you want, as I said. You can get purple mods from... From the season here on wave... On level 33, you get better things. So I wouldn't suggest to open up those purple mods to anybody. Plus, you can get purple mods from the arena event. So you're better off saving your guns. And not opening up purple cards. And saving up those guns for the arena event. Because if you open up... You could open up 10 blue, and you can get 20 guns, and uh, those guns will last you basically for the entire arena event, and you will get a purple mod there, plus you'll get some blue mods, and some common mods from the arena event. So yeah, opening up purple cards is not worth it. A lot of the things in this game are not worth it, to be honest. Bunker Alpha is worth it. That's what's worth it. If you want to get loot. It's like, I already know this. Yes, you know this. But I'm not sure. But you actually know this. Bunker Alpha. Purple mods are easier to get now, so no need to open purple cards. Exactly. I agree. Purple cards have always been a bad value. But now they're even worse. Drop the dumb shield! Stop it. There we go. It's like, how are your ancestors doing? Will we meet them again? What? Are you talking about ancestors become human game? Uh, maybe someday in the future? I don't know. Okay, that armor can break now. Probably, maybe. While I'm alive, that's good. And I'll go and switch my armor probably. Let's pick up these cards here. And yeah, this was a horrible police department. We are 10 blue, but... Yeah, that's a that's a bad... Uh, yeah, that's probably below average, I'd say. Even though, again, the rule of thumb is one blue card every 10 waves. So it should be like average, but... It's pretty bad. It is still, guys, pretty bad and pretty sad. If it's average, then it's like really at the bottom of... At the bottom of average. It's bad average here.
Okay, let's go wave 96, probably. 97. That's wave 97, maybe. Average 14, 16, blue, and 99 waves. Yeah, I'd say that's like that. That's like healthy average. That's like in the middle average. Like, like average average is like 14, 16, but that's like also a good average. I wouldn't say that's like just average average. That's also healthy average. But yeah, I agree. Or maybe actually 1416 is average average because most of the time I can get like 1920. See, so maybe it is average average. Yeah, getting 1416. Let's say 15 blue per 99 waves is the average, is the middle. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, that will be probably the last wave because it already says 98, so. We're probably gonna do wave 99. And that is it. Yeah, this this was horrible. This was a horrible police department. Yeah, that's this is it. This is the last wave. Yeah, that was the last wave, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it. That is it. Unless here we get like three or four blue, which I really doubt. But yeah, it was horrible. So yeah, I don't even know if we'll if I want to open up purple cards today. We'll probably open up one purple card because why not? We've gathered here for that purple card opening, so I will open up that purple card, but I got absolutely scammed here. Absolutely scammed. Okay, whatever. Let's give him Let's exchange all of the brown for green. Um, I don't even have space. Bro. There we go. So yeah, I wouldn't even suggest you ex exchanging your green for blue, as green cards are also very nice. Okay, so we have gotten 18 blue now once I exchanged all of the... all of the other cards. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad, actually. So we have the poll here. It's been running for a while. So 60% of people think that GTA 6 will come out first and 40% of people believe the helicopter will come out first. Yikes. RIP those that voted for the last internet helicopter because there is no way that the helicopter is coming out before GTA 6. I really, really doubt that. Okay, let's get back to the base. Let's drop all of the loot that we don't need here. And, uh, yeah. Let the 40% cook. Yes. They'll cook a helicopter. Found 19 blue with a VAP rare item buff. I had rare item buff as well here. The meal of the day chance to find a rare item is increased. I had that buff as well, but yet it did not work. I mean, we don't even know a rare item, what it means in the game. What's a rare item? Nine first aid kits. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so we got 30 blue. We could open up two purple, but I think it'll be silly. Actually, open up just one purple, probably. Opening up two purple, or even three purple is stupid. Um, nothing. Nothing. Well, we can delete a little bit of food because we have a lot of that goop. And two more first aid kits, huh? There we go. That's better. Let's drop this and let's open up one purple. 
do it for the memes. Guys, you know how many memes I've done like that? You know how many purple cards I've opened up for the memes? A lot. Open three purple. Nah, I'm not opening up three purple, guys. Stop it. Just stop it. Okay, I'll open that up and four blue. There we go. One purple and four blue. One purple and four blue. What is the best way to get oil with that bunker? Bravo. You can get oil from hardbowed bunker alpha. What is the best skill in your opinion? Probably the burglar perk. Then it's say extra bucket. Then the self healing perk is actually very nice if you don't forget to use it. Imagine he gets the Winchester mod. Again, it doesn't really matter what we get, as we already have all the mods, except the purple machete mod, but it's not even probably guaranteed that you get a purple machete mod from this police department, so I don't know. So, yeah. Whatever I get there, I'll be happy. Yeah. Machete time. If we get the machete, I'll be happy. I've gotten uh, lots of comments from you guys saying that you have gotten that purple machete mod from the police department. So, I believe it's possible. Maybe. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Let's exchange that for one purple. I said, don't do it. Don't repeat it at home. And there we go. Plip plop, plip plop. There we go. First of all, let's open up the blue cards. We have gotten a Winchester plus the Winchester mod. We've gotten here the drum magazine for the Uzi. We have gotten another Winchester and a green laser for the Glock. And in the last crate, we have gotten a tactical stock for the VSS. Okay. And in the purple crate, we have gotten a side times eight for the M16. At least we didn't get here any Winchesters. So there we go. That was our purple crate. Could have gotten 20 guns, but instead we've gotten only four. It is what it is. We still didn't get that purple machete mod. Perhaps one day we will get it. Haha. -ha. I doubt it. Perhaps. Just perhaps. Okay, let's get another armor and let's drop some stuff in the chopper and let's try to bring all of this stuff back to the base. It's like rate right last earth 1 to 10. 10 out of 10. The best game ever created. The game for gods. Literally. Can't get better. The pinnacle of gaming. Uh, we got that. And uh, one more armor set. And I think that is it. We can actually take everything with us. There's nothing else I want to take. Bloody lovely. Let's get that all. It's like, will you post more free-to-play videos? Yes, there will be more free-to-play videos. Yes. I mean, I posted a new free-to-play video quite recently. It's like, is Spear better than getting a Winchester? Um, it's a good question. But at least you can recycle the Winchester and get a steel bar. But Winchester kind of stinks. So I'd probably get a spear instead of the Winchester. VIP stores. There's nothing to send there as I don't need that garbage. Why don't you trade in mods? You could get a machete mod in Bunker Alpha. That's a lie. You can't get a machete mod. A purple machete mod from Bunker Alpha. As you don't get purple mods by exchanging mods. So... I have already exchanged a bunch of mods for the memes, even though I know I'm not going to get anything, so I've exchanged lots of mods already. So there's that. Alrighty, we're back. Let's drop the armor. We're back in our shack. Let's drop the Winchesters here. Bro, I don't have space for those stupid healing items.
And let's drop some steel plates over here. I said it would be awesome if I could just click a button and all the inventory would sort out. That'd be amazing. It is definitely possible. In Grounded, there we have a feature like that. Now I want it here. All right. I mean, I know Grounded is a PC game, but I'm sure they can implement it in mobile as well. I want to auto sort my base. That is it. I want to auto sort it. I could just auto sort it, boom, and it would still take a while for me to get the loot from the base. Then I'd still have to take something, but at least I could auto sort it. I was kind of surprised that I don't have this Kevlar body armor here, so we don't have a full set for some reason. Who took it? Who took my set? And, uh, yeah, we have already paid the raiders, so there isn't much we can kind of do here. But what we can do, though, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit of grass touching. Have you heard of grass touching? You might be like, psych, what is grass touching? We as gamers, we touch grass, even if it's virtual grass. Wait, actually, we're not done. We're not touching grass yet. We got some things to do. I need to go to the... I need to go to the settlement and get my daily loot. Let's get the daily... Ah! Let's get the daily loot, ladies and gentlemen, and then we can do other stuff. I saw auto sword in Undawn. Maybe in... Can you auto sword in Undawn? I believe Undawn has it too. Maybe. Maybe. Rust implemented auto sword feature as well. Wait, what? Wait, what, Quasim? I don't believe that. Really? There's an auto sword button in Rust? I don't believe that. Oh, hi. Ready to shoot some more. Oh, she's sitting on my crates. Get out of here. Okay, let's get the daily loot, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. We did it. We absolutely did it. Yeah, I'll probably get some more of those. It's fine. Let's just get something. Westline has auto sword. Yeah, I believe some games have auto sword. Absolutely. But does Last and Earth have auto sword? Hell nah. So that's it, guys. We have grinded the settlement a bit. That is buggers. And as I said, now we got some grass to touch. A Geo Guesser, ladies and gentlemen. Let's touch a little bit of grass in Geo Guesser. So I got any tips for guns and Last and Earth? Bunker Alpha, as I said many times. Make sure to check out my free to play playlist. Link is down in the description. And Bunker Alpha will get you lots of guns. Absolutely. Geograss. I see what you did there. Not Geoguessr, but Geograss. Uh, I'm in Geograss, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Last time we got, like, what? The second spot? The fifth spot or whatever? Whatever spot we got there. We can't even start the thing. There are no people for some reason. Where is everybody? Time to pulverize the glass. Yes. Chances are so low or almost zero. Chances are zero for what? Farm only gives melee weapon, not blueprints. You can do this trade with the specialist. You can't really trade. The specialist gives only common and blue blueprints. He doesn't give any purple blueprints. So there's that. Um, I have no idea where we are. I'm still quite lost. I'd say Romania, but there's no way it's Romania. It's not Romania. It is not Romania. It's not... Oh, I don't even know what it could be. There's no it's Finland. I refuse to believe that it's Finland. It can't be Finland. There is no, it's Iceland. 
It is Iceland, ladies and gentlemen. Grenados to something, and it was... Oh, it was a different one. It was Iceland. Psych, how did you know that it's Iceland? You see this letter? The English phonetic th letter here. In this Grondar, your something. That letter here. It's... I know that it's found in Iceland. Maybe it's found in other countries as well, but that's why I went for it. I am a GeoGuessr Pro. What can I say? Those GeoGuessr Pros, they find countries just by a dust speckle on a camera. And I find countries... Uh, by looking at the alphabet and looking at certain letters. Okay, that's Russian KM. This is not. This is Russian K. So where could we be? Doesn't look like Russia to me. Okay, I want to read that truck. I mean, could it be. No, there's no way it's Turkey. But it's somewhere around that area. It's not Russia. Whatever. I'm just going somewhere here. There's no way it's there. There's no way. Just, that was just something random. It wasn't Turkey. I said that it's probably not Turkey, but it wasn't Turkey. All right. It do be like that. I'm going up against three people here right now. Against two people. Wait, is there 1v2 right now? Yes, indeed, that's the last battle, and that's it. Wait, that's France. That is France for sure. Um, I don't know, France. I mean, it said that Signal Automatique, it's gotta be in France. But where are they? That's the bus. Where does it go? As if I'll find it. Bordeaux, uh, in Bordeaux, I know where that is. It's gotta be up somewhere. Uh, bruh, go up. Bruh, it's a huge city and it's here. How can I find it? There we go, there it is. It's going to the center. I mean, it's around somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere here, bruh. If it's not here, if it's a bus that goes across the country, then I am dead. Then I'm seriously dead. If it's, if it's, if I win, I am a GeoGuessr Pro, ladies and gentlemen. I won. It was in motherfucking Bordeaux. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I can, right now, literally, somebody said Northwest. Well, it wasn't Northwest. It was kind of South, uh, Southwest. That is it. I can now, ladies and gentlemen, it was actually Southwest, not Northwest. Yeah. I can actually retire, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Too good for this game, says uh, Abdurks. I absolutely agree. Literally. Sheesh! Sheesh, ladies and gentlemen. That is epic. That is absolutely epic. How do you appreciate my skills? Do you like them? Do you think I am amazing at Joe Gesser? I think I can click play again. And it might work. There we go. I started looking. And even though my free thing here ended, I can still go one more. Did you stop speed cubing? No, I still have the speed cube here. Let's do it one more time, right? Let's do one more. Because I still had like one second to restart the game. And that was just enough to start it. Because I don't have the premium subscription here. I had it, but it's over. Well, let's lose right now. The game is gonna ground me. The game's gonna show me my place. That I'm nothing but a loser. And you know what? I don't mind being a loser. Somebody has to be a loser. If everybody's a winner, then nobody's a winner. Happy Psyrek 2023. You can actually quote me and put that quote in your living room or somewhere. It's fine. The letters are very weird. It's like it's Iceland again. No, it's not Iceland. It's weird. I'll have to guess. I'll just probably go like Finland, Sweden or something. I'll maybe go for Sweden. It's not Sweden. Maybe Denmark. I'll go probably Denmark. I'm on almost the last spot. Not really. And it was, ladies and gentlemen, actually in Denmark. <laughs> Bruh! Absolutely genius. Absolutely genius. <sighs> Let's go, guys. Another round. I mean, it might be France. It might be Italy. It might be something else. 
Okay, it's not that. It's probably England. Bruh. La Rue des Aix. That is French again. Living legend. And that is French things. What is going on? Is it still France? Bruh. Looks like... France a bit, maybe. But that stuff is in French, and yet we had an English sign. Is there, like, a French area in England? Give way! That was English. That was English. It's not France. It is somewhere in England. It is somewhere in England. Maybe somewhere in the... Somewhere in the island. Maybe there's, like, an island or something. There was an island. Bruh, there is the Jersey Island here. Look at this. It's like French slash English island. Bruh, the more we learn, right? That's why I kind of took the south part of uh, England so that it's closer to France. Playa Abo. Don't flip. Who bent the sign like that? Why did they do it? The sun is in the south. That means we're somewhere in the north. Okay. Does that help me? I don't know. Either Mexico or South America somewhere. That's what I would go. That would be my bloody guess. Maybe somewhere in Africa as well, but I know I'm gonna go here-ish. Whoa, I'm on the last spot. I'm still on the last spot! I'm re-guessing and I didn't get knocked out. Wait, I was in the right spot! I was so close! I wanted to go even higher. I would've gotten knocked out. Okay, so it was... I was almost right. Whoa, and I still almost got knocked out. But I was pretty right, ladies and gentlemen. I was very close. Still W for Happy Sire. I'm glad that the game didn't allow me to switch my position. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, the sun is still kind of in the south there. If the sun is even there. Okay, now let's travel a bit. This is my first time joining a Psych live stream. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. We're touching some grass. Or in this case, we're trying to take over the truck. Goodbye, truck. See nothing. No letters on that truck. Soil is kind of red-ish. Again, South America. Maybe somewhere in Africa. I doubt it, though. I really have no idea where it could be. I mean, I'll, I'll just have to go for it. I'll have to shoot the shot. I'll go for the same thing again somewhere in the middle. Can't go wrong. They were going with the third spot. And it was somewhere in Mexico. Whew. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, still a good guess so far. Could have been somewhere in Africa, though. But we did it. Um, that's somewhere in Asia. My goal to know if it's Japan or not, it's probably not. I'm like 90% sure that it's not Japan. Yeah. I'll probably just go for Taiwan and that's it. That's where I'll go, ladies and gents. Bruh, what's going on? I lost it. Okay, it's there. Sheesh, I was on the second spot. Or maybe I wasn't on the second spot. Was it that? It was close to the one. It was one, uh, it was this island somewhere. Well, good guess. Good guess. That is interesting. I really have no idea where it could this be. 
Strzelnica, dude, that's Poland. It's like, how do you know? Because I speak Polish. Unless that's not, that might still be something else. But I'm like, yeah, Zmiana Organizacji Ruchu. That is Polish, ladies and gentlemen. That is Poland. 100% Poland, because I speak Polish. So it is Poland. Can we see the city or something? Strzelnica, I have no idea. Is that a street? That's a street. Where could this be? I have no idea. Well, let's go for it. There's no way they'll guess it. They're gone on the first spot. There's no way they can guess it. And it was, ladies and gentlemen, Poland. Sheesh. Mirror on the crossroads. There are mirrors if you can't see where... If it's a dangerous spot, they put mirrors. And uh, Studios, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. End of school zone. Is it somewhere in Singapore? I can say it by font. Look at this, guys. See this font kind of... Uh, there's lots of spacing and everything. It is in Singapore. It is absolutely in Singapore. But a lot of people guess that it's Singapore, so we'll need to perhaps guess the street. But how will I guess the street here? There's no street names or anything. I'm not gonna know where I am. I just know that it's Singapore and that's it. Avenue 459, it's street. Uh, there we go, there's the Singapore. Avenue Street 5 something 9, I'll go here. Said I'm on the second spot, and that is good. That is good. So, yeah, Studios, thanks once again for the super chat. And everybody guessed that it's in Singapore. Unbelievable. So, we're going up now against no lifers. A bunch of tires. Okay. Just like that Springfield burning tires, right? There's the same thing here. So for some reason, I feel like it's Ireland. Every time I see this kind of green, lush grass, I feel like it's Ireland. I might be mistaken, though. Honestly, I have no idea. I'll go for Ireland now. Look at all the chick chicken on the sides. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Ireland. There's no way it's something else. Maybe it is, actually. But that's all I know. Whatever, let's search for Ireland. I'll probably go around here. And I'll guess at the very last second. I was on the second spot and I didn't get knocked out. It was in UK, but I was close. And uh, Separatist Studios, thanks for the super chat. You're the best YouTuber. Keep it up. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm humbled. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. Um, um, again, it looks like kind of like UK, but it's probably not. The building's blur. More things are blurred. That could be Germany. It's probably Germany, guys. Everything that's blurred is usually Germany. Okay, so we are somewhere in Germany. Because they have, like, those privacy policies and whatever. Lübeck. Uh, okay, seventh thing. Seventh highway. Uh, one, seven, Hamburg. Okay, this is the seventh highway, Hanover. And we need to find Lübeck. Thanks once again, Studios, for the super chat. Lübeck. Where is Lubeck? Well, is that a huge city, Lubeck, or a small city? Okay, 7th, 7th Highway. Well, I'll just go here. There's no way he can change the guess. That's it, I won! Ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely won! And it wasn't just a random guess. I, why I chose here? Because it was a bigger city. So... It could have been more blurred. That's why I went more north. And uh, yeah, plus there was the seventh highway here. I am just the best at this game, guys. Seriously, I'm just the best at this game. 
Uh, we need to wait now for the GeoGuessr patch so that they nerf me. So guys, I'll be probably wrapping it up. Thanks for joining everybody. But where's Lubeck though? Why? Where's Lubeck? Is it like some sort of another? Oh, Lubeck is here. There we go. There's Lubeck. If I had seen this thing, I would have probably chosen it here then. I assume I would have placed myself here. In any case, it's a great game. That's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. We'll need to wait for patches so that they nerf me. See you later, everybody. Play a challenge game. I can't do it. This game is no challenge for you. Oh, play a challenging game. Yes. Nice. Take a screenshot, lol. Why would I take a screenshot? We have so many Ws here. I won't even have enough space on the computer to keep all of those screenshots. Absolutely. So, take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow with another... With another video, probably. Right? Yeah, yeah. See you later, everybody. Thanks for joining. And uh, see you later, alligators. Take care and peace out. Yeah, take care, alligators. Peace out. Peace out, peace out, everybody. Take care and peace out.